It looks like AMD is working on a new project called Big Little for preparing Phoenix 2 APUs for smaller devices. The recent leaks suggest that the new AMD Phoenix 2 APUs are supposedly featuring a hybrid architecture design just like we have on Intel's Alder and Raptor Lake families. Moreover, we also have some good info on the specs of these APUs. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss such interesting leaks in the future. The reports come from a leaker on Twitter by the username InstaLatX64 who spotted the new SKU on Milky Way at home. Now even though there isn't any model name for this new CPU, the user found out that this info was related to the CPU ID A70F80 which belongs to the Phoenix APUs. According to the document, this particular APU is featuring 12 threads for a combination of 12 plus 4 cores. While it is known that these cores are based on the Zen 4 architecture, there seems to be a bigger change we did not expect. In AMD's recent PPR document, the user noted that the company is going to use different types of cores for these APUs. Possibly the combination will be two performance cores and four efficient cores just like we have on Intel's 12th and 13th gen processors. The difference here would be that both types of cores on these Phoenix 2 APUs are going to use the same Zen 4 architecture, where the efficient cores are going to feature lower clocks or lower L3 cache. According to another leak by a Twitter user called XenoAssassin1, this APU was tested in Cinebench R23 where all six cores can be seen in action. From the clocks graph, it is clear that the performance and efficient cores have a significant difference in their clock speeds. Here the core 0 and core 5 are supposedly the performance cores running between 4.0 to 4.8 GHz, whereas the cores 1 to 4 are running between 2.4 to 3.0 GHz. As for the power consumption, Xeno says that the performance cores consume just 7 to 8 watts, while the efficient cores stay around 5 watts. What this means is that most likely this APU is going to be used for handheld gaming and portable devices that feature lower power consumption. Next, we have some leaked specs of the next-gen Intel's Battlemage flagship GPU. In a very recent video, RGT talked about the flagship Battlemage GPU from Intel that will supposedly feature 64 XE cores, which are double the XE cores present on the current fastest Alchemist GPU, the ARC A770. This should put the Battlemage GPU theoretically somewhere around the RTX 4070 Ti, which is quite powerful even for 4K gaming. This card is supposedly the BMG G10 that will feature a TDP of around 225 watts and will have its clock targets above 3 GHz as per the specs leak. The card is set to feature a 256-bit memory bus and can have either GDDR6 or GDDR6X VRAM. According to the specs, it can be assumed that the card can have 8 to 32 GB of VRAM where 16 GB or 32 GB looks more reasonable considering that the A770 is featuring 16 GB of memory. The GPU will use TSMC's 4 nanometer process node and will have a similar die size to AD103 which is the RTX 4080 from Nvidia. However, the L2 cache will be smaller than the AD103 GPU which features 64 MB of L2 cache compared to 48 MB on the flagship Battlemage GPU. RGT says that the card is planned to launch in Q2 or Q3 of 2024 followed by the BMG G21 which falls in the performance grade. While Intel is still struggling in the GPU market, the company is not giving up and already has a planned roadmap for the next generation GPUs. The Alchemist family is already getting price cuts frequently which lands it in a favorable position in the budget GPU segment but as we know, the company doesn't have any enthusiast level GPU that could compete with Nvidia's latest RTX 40 series or AMD's RX 7000 series GPUs. However, if the recent GPU roadmap leaked by Red Gaming Tech is true, Intel might catch up with the current gen high-end graphics cards from both the red and green teams. And lastly, bad news for Windows 7 and 8 owners. If you own any of these operating systems and you love playing your favorite games from your Steam library, then unfortunately this is your last year on your OS. Steam just announced its stance on Windows 7 and 8 support where it says that on 1st January 2024, Steam will officially stop supporting the Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 operating systems. After this date, the Steam client will no longer run on these OS versions and if you want to continue running Steam or any other games that you purchase through Steam, you have to update to either Windows 10 or Windows 11. It also added that the future versions of Steam will require Windows feature and security updates that are only present in Windows 10 and above. 
So definitely terrible news for many gamers out there who love using Windows 7 and Windows 8. Even though the current OS share according to the recent Steam survey shows that the Windows 7 and 8 comprise less than 2% of total users, 2% is still a good number of gamers around the world who now have to forcibly upgrade their OS just to keep their Steam client running. This also opens the door for these companies to force people to upgrade to newer OS and hardware so that they can keep selling whatever they want to. If today they are forcing people to upgrade to the latest Windows OS, tomorrow they may also disable Windows 10 support. Anyways, let me know if you are using Windows 7 or 8 on your PC and if you are willing to upgrade to Windows 10 or 11 right now. Hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more regular stories like this. Turn on the notifications for the channel to get notified every time I upload a video and I will see you in the next one.